the way the way Illinois crafted their new act, it's an entirely new new set of laws uh, for the Illinois concealed carry. Uh, the way they've enacted it, they've required 16 hours of training. Mm -hmm. uh, of that, um, it has to go into uh, in-depth detail into the law itself relating to Illinois. We also have to have um, training on firearms, how to clean it, how to safely handle them. Uh, we also include uh, options on how to conceal firearms, how to do it safely, how to interact with, with law enforcement also. Mm -hmm. Since I'm a police officer, that's one of my major concerns. I, I think 16 hours is adequate if you have the right curriculum, the right instructors, and the right atmosphere. Um, I think that's really key to it. Uh, could it be done in less? Yes, with some some folks could do do um, the training in less. A lot of it depends on your experience level. Mm -hmm. um, if there are people that have come through these classes that have been hunting for years and years um, with long guns, but a pistol is a different type of firearm completely and there's a big difference between hunting and carrying a pistol for, for self-defense. I received my concealed carry license March 10th, 2014. I took classes at Get Guns January 5th, 2014. It took 60 days for me to get my uh, actual permit slash license approved. Nowadays society is just a little bit harder than it used to be back in the day. Uh, it seems like the police are overwhelmed with crime and they can't respond as fast as they need to, so pretty much grew up around weapons and guns as in the military and just feel a lot safer for myself and my family uh, in society today. In every class that I teach, I want people to understand there's a black and a white and there's a gray. Black and white is right and wrong, gray is in the middle, and gray is where you get in trouble. Especially with this being a brand new law, we have no case law, we have no interpretation from the courts. Um, there's going to be a lot of cases going through the courts. Okay. So that's why I tell everybody, it, it, stick with the right and wrong. Don't if, it, if it's questionable whether you should take a gun, whether it's legal or not, don't take a gun until you get some clarification. There's a total of like 21 places that Illinois has uh, forbidden any firearms to be brought into. Um, a lot of those are schools, um, many parks, schools, parks, um, any uh, big public assembly areas, for example, the United Center, any uh, major uh, sporting events. Um, the list goes on and on, but one of them also is public transportation. So, okay. Metro, you cannot carry, if you're riding downtown, because you, you work down there, you cannot carry a loaded firearm with you. Hmm. However, you also have to factor in scenarios. Where is this line if you're going to draw your firearm and use it? You can't just pull your gun out and threaten somebody with it. You have to be in fear for your life, or else you could find yourself being charged with criminal offenses. Guns are meant as the last line of self-defense before you're going to be um, suffer great bodily harm or death.